Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Miara channel. Today, we're very happy to have with us Anandita Guha Maolek Rungta. She is a functional medicine certified health coach from the Functional uh, Medicine Aca uh, Coaching Academy and the School of Applied Functional Medicine. And she works one to one with uh, women who have autoimmune and chronic uh, health issues where she gives women uh, tools to help them increase their self-awareness, practice self-compassion, and prioritize their self-care, which really resonates with us. Thank you, Anandita, for being with us today. Thank you, Sanjana, for having me uh, here. Uh, really happy to have a chat with you today. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's just start off by uh, listening to uh, you know, where you come from and your personal story and what led you to become a functional medicine coach. Um, my story about, I mean, to where I am today started in 2013 when my daughter fell seriously ill. Uh, you know, this was actually a side effect of a drug given to help her manage her severe eczema. Mm -hmm. And till then I was doing what conventional medicine typically offers, which is medication, immunosuppressive medication in her case. And that's all I knew. Right mm -hmm. till the time that, uh, you know, she reached the hospital with a life-threatening infection. And okay. it was the most difficult two weeks of our lives as she was in the ICU. Mm -hmm. And I think the lowest point was when the doctors were considering a bone marrow transplant because her bone marrow had stopped uh, producing WBCs, which is what led through the infection. So that was, wow. in a nutshell, where mm -hmm. we were. And, uh, you know, when we came out of all that, she survived and we came out of that situation uh, she took several months to recover, but I think that was the turning point. Mm -hmm. And I sort of vowed that, you know, I would find a way. I mean, there had to be another way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, this couldn't be the only way to deal with her. She was, she actually celebrated her seventh birthday uh, in the ICU. And, you know, I was like, this is not how I want my daughter to sort of be for the rest of her life and be on medication. So, so I started my research and I literally stumbled across functional medicine and this is in 2014. Mm -hmm. So I had never heard of it. Nobody had told me about gut health, uh, let alone chronic conditions, autoimmunity. I had no idea, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it took me a whole, you know, whole year of research to actually find that made, made sense. Mm -hmm. 2015, we started her on functional medicine treatment and two years later, we took her off all medications. Mm -hmm. And we managed to bring her eczema under control. Um, unfortunately, she had a flare up, I think COVID stress, she's in grade 10 now, etc. Mm -hmm. But thing, you know, we found we know what to do, we know mm -hmm. how to focus on our gut health, which is what we are doing now. It's so today she's a vibrant 15 year old. Right? Oh, wonderful. So, so all of this, this entire experience, while it was horrific at the time, uh, mm -hmm. the struggles that we went through, this is what led me to functional medicine and in turn to functional medicine health coaching. So I found FMC in 2015, and I knew that this is something that, you know, the world needed to know, right? Uh, it's not hocus pocus, there is science behind it. It resonates particularly with Indians mm -hmm. and even others across the world who believe, who believe in uh, say Ayurveda or traditional Chinese medicine, you know, where you find and address the root cause. Mm -hmm. So that's what, that's how functional medicine health coaching came about. And uh, I started my practice in 2000. Uh, 17 after I finished my uh, course as the first uh, health coach in India. Wow, that's really amazing that you took like a, a personal struggle that led you to become a functional medicine and seek answers. That's really, uh, that's really inspiring. So um, why don't you tell us what is functional medicine? Like what is the approach to functional medicine? Um, and you mentioned a little bit about root cause, but if you could go into some details for our viewers and for us. Yeah, so um, anyone who's familiar, and the reason I talk about Ayurveda, especially when we uh, talk about the, you know, the Eastern world is because people understand, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but even for those who don't understand that, uh, it's uh, functional medicine, it's an approach, it's a very different approach, in the sense that uh, unlike uh, conventional medicine, which has its very important role in acute conditions, so whether it's mm -hmm. an emergency, whether it's an accident, whether it's a uh, infectious disease dynamic where you need immediate intervention. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, you know, that's where conventional medicine saves lives, right? Mm -hmm. On the other hand, where we are talking about chronic diseases and the area that I work with, uh, women mm -hmm. with autoimmune conditions, mm -hmm. that doesn't really work. And that's the same thing with my daughter. My daughter's uh, health issue is eczema. Mm -hmm. And eczema is also a very, you know, can be a very severe chronic disease, which is in her case. And it also has 
immune dysregulation at its root cause. So functional medicine is all about uh, looking at chronic diseases, finding and addressing the root cause using a systems biology approach, mm -hmm. uh, which by which I mean that we don't look at a person we're having discrete body parts or you know separate organs, right? Mm -hmm. So there is a defense and repair mechanism going on. There is a digestion and absorption going on. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, inflammation going on. There's a hormone, uh, you know, hormones and energy uh, system. So they are all interconnected. Uh, all of these are talk organs are talking to each other. The mm -hmm. internal environment has a role to play. The external environment has a role to play. So functional medicine looks at the person as a whole. It takes into account the internal environment, external environment. Uh, you know, and uh, what else is at play and obviously finds and then addresses the root cause and most, more often than not for many chronic conditions, it's actually the gut. Mm -hmm. So by focusing and healing the gut, a lot of autoimmune conditions, a lot of uh, chronic conditions and in particular autoimmune conditions can be reversed or at the very least improved upon. Okay. That's, so that's, really... that's all about functional medicine. Okay, that's really interesting. So you, I mean, when I read about your work, you said you deal with women uh, primarily, and they come to you with these chronic and, um, you know, autoimmune yes. conditions. So could you just expand yes. on that? What uh, specifically do uh, you support? Yes. Um, but before I, you know, Sanjana, before I'll get into that, I think I missed, I wanted to sort of also bring in where the health coaching comes in because I mm -hmm. think that's an equally important part. Right. So the kind of coaching that I practice is a blend of functional medicine and of course coaching. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is uh, I already discussed, I mean, already shared with you what functional medicine is all about. So that mm -hmm. is the principles upon which the coaching is uh, sort of based upon. Right. But as far as coaching is concerned, the reason it is you know equally important because while uh, even if I take examples of women who come to me, I often have them get off gluten, get off dairy because autoimmune conditions have gut at the root of it. Mm -hmm. And gluten is a huge problem and as so others. So just to give you an example of if I'm asking them to get off gluten and dairy uh, and you've been having it all your life, it ex it's extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. This is where the coaching comes in. It's not right. enough to have the information because you can go on Google and you know, know how to go about it, right? But most people struggle to do that. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can do that for a while. You can go up certain things. You can make certain changes, but then to sustain it right. for long periods of time and see sustainable health changes, that's extremely difficult for most mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. That's where the coaching comes in. So we mm -hmm. use motivation interviewing. We use uh, character strengths, positive psychology. That's how functional medicine blends with health coaching okay. and provides a beautiful solution to help people not only get well, but stay well. Yeah, because so that's what, where, what you're saying is yeah. you want people to maintain a sustainable, they want, you want them to be well in a sustainable way, not something like a fad, you know, switch on, switch off kind of thing. So that's the support that yeah, functional because that's medicine not offers. True health. Yeah, that's not true health because you can, of true. course, do certain things. You can, uh, you know, see changes, but then if you revert back to your old lifestyle, you'll be back to where you started. Right, so absolutely. that's that doesn't really help anyone. So uh, and ultimately, I don't want people to become dependent on me and only. So I want them to learn the steps. So when women to, to answer your question, when women come to me with uh, primarily uh, with autoimmune conditions, uh, then of course we talk about gut health, which is where we always start. But we mm -hmm. also talk about eating hygiene. We talk about sleeping hygiene. So it's and in fact, I'll just share with you if you're okay with that. Uh, yeah the six stages that I take them through, sure. um, you know, uh, because this is what I've found in the you know, past few years, that this is actually a six stage process that my clients mm -hmm. go through in my coaching program. And this seems to be the most effective right. uh, because it's one, one stage lays up, you know, builds up on the other, right. right. And uh, unless you build the, so the first stage actually is laying the foundation, right. Because mm -hmm. unless you have a strong foundation, it's very difficult because, you know, I can, uh, Sanjana, when somebody comes to me, I can give them like 20 handouts, right? And I can tell them do this and do that and go down. That's not really helpful. All it creates mm -hmm. is overwhelm. So mm -hmm. rather than do that, what I do is I sort of take them step by step. So I break down the steps for them. I, uh, you know, they have their own health and wellness goals. As a mm -hmm. coach, I help them to bring that out. Mm -hmm. Again, as I mentioned, it's a blend of functional medicine and health coaching. And that's why it's so effective. Mm -hmm. So I empower them to think solution, you know, about the solutions. I give them what they need and right. I break it down. So the first stage is laying the foundations, mm -hmm. uh, sleep hygiene, eat, you know, basic stuff. 
The second stage is healing your gut, of course. So what is the connection and how, you know, we start the gut repair process. Mm -hmm. The third stage is moving beyond symptom management. So whether it's toxins, whether it's stress management, right? It's not about only symptomatic relief. And mm -hmm. you know, people need to understand that. The fourth stage, then finally we reach a stage where we can start balancing the hormones, whether it's, and it's not sex hormones, it's a thyroid, you know, and mm -hmm. while I'm taking them to the stages, they're of course overlap. So we yeah. start doing several things, but it helps to have a roadmap. Mm -hmm. So I give them this roadmap and say, this is the journey that we'll be right. taking because it's a journey. It's a journey. Right? It mm -hmm. takes time. It takes time. And I always uh, mention that. Mm -hmm. So the fourth step is balancing hormones. The fifth step is strengthening a mind-body connection. Again, mm -hmm. extremely important. While mm -hmm. the healing the gut, et cetera, is important. So is mm -hmm. using the tools of mindfulness. I do a lot of that in my practice. I believe in that myself. I practice it myself. Right. Uh, you know, your relationship to food needs to heal. Your relationship to your body needs to improve. Many right. things that my clients, you know, many women struggle with. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, that's one stage. And the last one, uh, last but not the least, is creating sustainable health. This is mm -hmm. where we create morning routines, uh, rituals, you know, building a, a self-care practice. Mm -hmm. So all of these sort of, it's like a step-by-step -step journey that you, that my clients, uh, you know, go through inside my uh, coaching program. So it's about a six month thing. And uh, some of them continue on that, you know, because the pace is, you know, I meet them where they are, right? Yeah. Everybody right. moves at different pace. Right. That's really interesting. And I mean, one thing, one common theme, which I realize what you uh, always mention is gut health. Can you kind of stress, can you talk a little bit about gut health and the importance of it? Yes. Yeah, so when it, so I will connect it to autoimmune conditions because that's where I am focusing on. But sure. as I said, actually gut health is, uh, you know, sort of contributes to most chronic conditions. Okay. So right. many of them. Mm -hmm. And the reason that gut health is so important and focusing on gut health is so important in, uh, in uh, chronic conditions, specifically, specifically autoimmune conditions, is because 80% uh, of uh, our immune system lies in our gut, mm -hmm. right? Because the gut is the uh, interface between our external environment and our body. Right. So it's what we are putting in our mouth and mm -hmm. what goes in along with the food is what is the first uh, you know, interaction in where the interaction takes place between the external environment and, uh, you know, our own system. So what mm -hmm. happens is whatever is going into our stomach uh, has to be digested, absorbed and transported and mm -hmm. must be done carefully so, so that nothing which is undigested or toxins, they should not be leaching into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. That's why you have most of the police force, you know, as we call. So when I explain it to my clients, it's like you will put your maximum police force where there is maximum danger, yeah. right? You will not put it in a place, put them in a place where there is no uh, threats. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason your 80% of the immune system resides in your gut. So anything that disrupts your gut health mm -hmm. uh, creates immune dysregulation. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so this is the very basics. Uh, there, of course, there are many nuances beyond mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. this is what forms the connection between your gut health and any chronic disease. Right. So that if makes... something goes wrong there, uh, then, you know, there is a form of immune dysregulation. There are food intolerances, uh, food sensitivities, which crop up. There is mm -hmm. something called enhanced intestinal permeability. So there's a cascade of things which leads mm -hmm. to downstream diseases, but it right. typically starts here. Okay. That's really interesting. And what, what I like about this functional medicine approach is that you have to constantly also keep motivating, coaching your clients. Is it, is it more difficult for you uh, because you're dealing with women who generally tend to put their health on a, you know, on the, on the, uh, on the back burner, let's say. Um, so, you know, when I joke with them that, you know, if you have a list of people who, uh, you know, things that are important of people, we are usually on the last on the list. You know, right. even, even Tommy, our dog is before us. You know, it's, <laughs> it's typically like that. You know, with, this is really true. Um, I don't find it very difficult because I think as a being as a uh, being a woman, uh, to some extent, I can identify. I have made a lot of changes in my own life. Mm -hmm. um, but and I think it's it's so I, but I'm very, because of this awareness that mm -hmm. this is something that most of my clients do struggle with and that is the approach that they have I start focusing on it right from the beginning right. so in fact right from day one we start discussing and 
And that's where the beauty of health coaching comes in. As I said, it's not enough to give information. It's not enough to tell them about functional medicine and gut health. Yeah. If they don't really believe that they need to take care of themselves as mm-hmm. well. So mm-hmm. both have to go hand in hand. So what I often do is I, and it's happened over a period of time. Of course, when I started coaching, I, you know, I never uh, realized, but it, you know, with time, with experience, you figure this out. So what I end up doing is I, uh, of course, uh, talk about uh, what their ish- health issues are, et cetera, for the first you know, half an hour, 45 minutes of a session. And the last 15, 20 minutes, we do a lot of mindset work, mm-hmm. which then helps them to implement what they learned in the first half an hour to 45 minutes. Because right. without that, you know, it's very difficult to create new habits, to make mm-hmm. healthier choices, to mm-hmm. uh, choose yourself first when you need to, mm-hmm. right? Because if you don't prioritize your own health, especially if you're you know, dealing with an autoimmune or other such serious chronic condition, no one else will do it for you. Right. Yeah. So you have to prioritize your health. And that's something that we work from day one. And I really enjoy doing that part of it. Okay, that's really interesting. So um, what is important for women like who come to you? What, what would you say would be like, um, you know, how would you help them from a functional medicine perspective? And what is important for them to uh, information that they should come to you with? Like, do they have to do some tests or... Uh, things okay. like that mm-hmm. so in p- my particular uh, in your program, particular program yeah uh, not necessarily mm-hmm. uh, not test but I think I am looking at three things mm-hmm. uh, three characteristics I would say rest of you know rest of it we can sort of definitely work through the first thing they need to be fully committed to the changes that they need to make uh, right. so so there is a series of questions that I ask them and mm-hmm. a lot often a lot of times I do an initial health consultation so mm-hmm. it's a one-hour consultation where we understand each other because sometimes for whatever reason, we may not be a right fit for each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's happened once or twice because I could figure out that the client was just not ready. Right. And in something uh, like healing from a chronic condition, unless you're ready to make, you, you can make the changes at whatever pace you want, but you need to be ready. Right. right? If mm-hmm. you're in, if you're not even, you know, if you're in uh, denial or if you're not, ready to you know put in the hard work because mm-hmm. as I tell them the changes will depend on what you do in between my sessions mm-hmm. not in the coaching right mm-hmm. it's what you do in your own house in your own kitchen that truly matters mm-hmm. so there have been you know there have been a couple of instances where you know I sort of we mutually decided not to go ahead because they were not ready at that time but otherwise right. uh, keeping that aside they have to be fully committed to the uh, this whole process because it's a journey as I mentioned mm-hmm. it's a long journey Mm-hmm. Secondly, they have to, uh, you know, be willing to actively participate in their own healing process. Right. Uh, without that, again, uh, you know, you will not uh, be able to sustain this mm-hmm. uh, momentum, right? Uh, and also, then uh, they would like they need to go beyond symptom management, because mm-hmm. of course, again, you know, again coming back that it's 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 a journey, so you need to be able to prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm there as a guide, mm-hmm. but you need to be ready to embark on that journey. Mm-hmm. So that's, I think, the first thing that I look for. Rest okay. everything, whether you have lab you reports, work through. you know, mm-hmm. tests and all, you can work through, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's not a, such a big uh, issue, I find. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, so this is something that I focus on more than anything else. Mm-hmm. Rest everything, we can, I can get them to do tests, you know, we can, and of course, I have a questionnaire, so I figure out what else has to be done, and mm-hmm. then we start. Okay. That's uh, really interesting. Thank you for telling us all about functional medicine. I, I just wanted to, last thing I wanted to ask you, do you have any parting words for uh, women, how to empower themselves <laughs> for their health? Um, you know, the, through this coaching experience, through my own experience, uh, through uh, healing my daughters, uh, you mm-hmm. know, healing my daughter from her health issues, I've realized one thing mm-hmm. that, you know, our bodies, uh, have an innate uh, ability to heal mm-hmm. okay so we all have it you have it I have mm-hmm. it you know every woman out there and man of course mm-hmm. we all have it sometimes we have to just get out of its way mm-hmm. okay so no, uh, so that's all it takes so we forget that we have you know our bodies our bodies resilient our body is extremely adaptive and mm-hmm. we need to work with and not against okay mm-hmm. so if you can just remember that and not be at war with your mm-hmm. body if you can give the support that it needs in terms of nutrition, you know, whatever ways, it doesn't matter, you know, Mm -hmm. whatever nourishment that it needs, move Mm -hmm. at a pace that it requires you to move at. Mm -hmm. uh, That's all. And sometimes that's where you start seeing the results. So, you know, this is something that I sort of uh, always uh, 
remind my clients that, you know, you already have what it takes. You don't need somebody else. I mean, you might need some guidance and support, but, you know, everything else you already have. Right. Makes sense. So thank you very much. I think that was a very interesting chat. And um, I'm, I'm, we will put your details with our uh, video. So if people want to get in touch with you, we, I mean, uh, that would be also great. So thanks a lot once again. And uh, look forward to continuing this conversation some other time. Yes, thank you, Sanjana. I am really glad to be here today. Thank you so much.